What's up, guys? Today we're going to be doing another episode of Animated Stories. So I haven't done one of these in a little while. So anyway, this girl is allergic to soap. Why? I don't know. So let's get on with the video. Shall we? <sighs> also, guys, if you guys watch my web show, I'm currently developing its spinoff. I'll get it done. I'm gonna be. I'm still in production right now. I shot production finished by later. Hang on, just a second. Why is it not letting me? All right. I have a crazy confession to make. Something almost no one in my life knows about other than my family. I'm allergic to soap. It sounds impossible, right? Like I'm making it up. I wish it was a lie, but it's a very real condition. And I've been dealing with it for years now. So how is she able to do this? How is she able to clean herself? That's like me being allergic to Carmex. Oh no, I'm allergic to this. Ugh. Don't worry, I'm not actually allergic to it. Where did my lid go? To it. Found it. little girl, everything was normal in my life. I got to take showers, baths, like any other person, using soaps and shampoos without any problems. Apparently, so she wasn't allergic to this before, but she is now? How is this possible? Well, most allergies begin when you were a child. Others can develop during adulthood. In my case, it happened when my hormones began getting crazy during my teenage years. And at first, I thought it was the worst possible thing that could happen to me. It all began with my skin getting all red and dry after taking showers. I wasn't sure what could be going on, but being young, I didn't pay it much attention. After all, it was just a bit of a blush, but my skin kept getting worse. And then I began getting these red marks and my skin became really itchy. Though so after a while it got better, until the very next shower. So after a few weeks of this happening regularly, I talked to my mom, and she took me to a doctor's appointment at once, realizing something had to be wrong. The doctor told me they'd run some tests, and I got really worried, thinking I might be sick. He told me it was no big deal, and it was simply an allergy test, which would help me solve my health issues. They discovered that I was allergic to common chemicals used in commercial soaps. And that was precisely why I was getting those odd reactions after showering. The doctor explained that I needed to stop using it entirely, as it would only grow worse and worse with time. Imagine how worried I got. I was terrified I'd have to go to school smelling nasty. I'd be dirty all the time and people would mock me. The doctor told me and my mom not to worry, as I would still be able to get myself clean. Water would still help me remove odors. But without the soap, not only I wouldn't get allergic reactions, but it wouldn't even remove the natural oils from my skin, which apparently is a great thing. Soaps usually dry up your skin, he told me. And I have to admit, I thought he was just trying to make me feel better about the kind of dirty, smelly life I'd be forced to endure from that moment on. I was so skeptical and cried all the way back home. I told my mother... So they did find a solution. Wonder what... I wonder if they're gonna find out if she's a what she what kind of what part of the soap she's allergic of. Is she allergic to anything green? Let's find out. I didn't want to be bullied at school for smelling and looking dirty, but she told me the doctor had been very helpful and that we should trust his advice. So I stopped using soap and was constantly worried I'd stink up every room I walked into. You can't even imagine my surprise when that didn't happen at all. After weeks of taking showers without a single bit of soap, my skin began looking and 
he looked so much healthier. I got compliments all the time. My friends asked what soap I was using, and I lied, inventing different brands I had never heard of, too embarrassed to admit the truth. They would have mocked me if I told them I couldn't use any. But if only they knew that it was making my skin glow, perhaps they would have followed my example, you know? I have to admit, I really miss that sweet, flowery smell I got to enjoy after bathing with soap. But that's the only downside of not being able to use it. My skin was no longer red and dry. Well, at least things got better. Despite the fact that she's just rinsing her body off, she actually looks better because her face is glowing. Her rather had a beautiful glow to it, and it felt so soft to the touch. I used to need so many moisturizers and creams, but now I don't use any at all. My skin is naturally hydrated and smooth. I've also managed to save so much money, which at first I really didn't notice as my parents paid for my expenses. But it was great once I moved out and began living on my own. I have done some research about my allergy, and apparently it's very unusual, as few people suffer from it. That's why I don't dare tell my friends and acquaintances about it, as I'm afraid they'll tease me about it or think I'm weird. Even worse, perhaps they'll think I'm making up a few. Well, since it's uncommon, like, since I can still take showers normally without getting allergies, so I'm not allergic to soap. But this allergy for her is really uncommon. Make allergy. It took me a while to feel comfortable with my condition, but now I've come to terms with it being something I can't change. Honestly, though it might sound so strange, I'm quite happy about my allergy. Thanks to it, I discovered I really don't need soap to have a healthy, clean skin. And no one in my life has ever mentioned me smelling bad. Actually, they say I smell like nothing at all, which is kind of neat in an odd way. Perhaps one day I'll be brave enough to admit my allergy to my friends, and I'm sure that day some of them might even decide to go off soaps as well. I really believe that in the long run, it's better for our skin, allergy or no allergy. I haven't had pimples in years, and people compliment my skin all the time. So, this is my big secret. Not so crazy once you understand it better. Right? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. So guys, we had a little bit of something different. Hang on, let me put on the bigger screen. But anyway, guys, what'd you guys learn? Are you guys allergic to anything? Be sure to, that'll be the secret question I will be pinning down in the comments. And you guys can answer them. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button in the face. And, subs and subscribe to my Wolfpack. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any latest uploads. And anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, and I will be I will also be linking my web show in the description so you guys can totally watch it. And anyways, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.